Hi, I'm Scott DeCamp with Catchmark Sportsnet, and this is the Profile of the Week. Today we have Fremont Junior Wrestling Standout, T. Ward. How's it going today, T? Thank you for having me. Can you tell me about the origin of your first name? My real name is Timothy. It, I'm a junior, so I take after my dad. And uh, T, I don't really know. I know my parents, they didn't really want me to be called like Timmy Jr. or Little Timmy, so they chose T and it's kind of stuck with me throughout my entire life. Last wrestling season, you went 49-3, and three, and you finished runner-up in Division II at 119 pounds. What are your greatest memories of last year? Of last year, my biggest memories? Um, it would probably be the state tournament. It was my first time ever having like that real, like the couple wins in a row, and it was a real big moment in my life. It really, just the fire, the, uh, the, like the role I got on, it really, it was real big for me. Who was your toughest opponent last season? Last season, I'd say the toughest opponent I had was probably Loudon Stradlin. I wrestled him at Gaylord and he ended up catching me in the second period and pinned me, which was a little unfortunate. Last season you wrestled at 119 pounds. This year you'll be jumping between 132 and 138. How do you anticipate that change? It's going to be a little bit of a jump. I will probably be seeing a lot of new wrestlers, and that'll be very interesting. Seeing the new group of kids, I'm, I'm very excited for it. What are your goals this season, both from an individual and a team standpoint? So my goals, individual, I want to be an individual state champ. That's probably my main goal. And for the team, I want the team to return back to the state finals. That'll be. That would be huge for the team morale and everything going forward. What is it about wrestling that got you hooked and keeps you motivated? Wrestling, the first thing that hooked me was probably the individual aspect. That's the thing that keeps me motivated. I'm the only one out there. It's just me versus the other person. So whoever works harder, they, they will get the win. And I like to say I work pretty hard, so it really, that's pretty much the main motivation for me is just the individual aspect of it. You also play soccer for the Packers, playing the center midfield position. Is there any carryover between soccer and wrestling? I'd say the main carryover is just the endurance from soccer. The endurance I get from soccer really helps me to push through in wrestling, and especially in the third period when some people might be getting tired, I feel like I don't get as tired because of soccer. And then wrestling to soccer, I feel like wrestling is a very physical sport, and it, it really just helps with like your full body conditioning, and that helps me a lot when it comes to soccer. What are your long-term goals with wrestling? It would be real nice to make it in a Division I school or maybe a big Division II school where I'd be wrestling, hopefully starting on the team. What would you tell young people about the academic side of things and how important that is? Grades are probably even more important than the sport itself. If you can't have good grades, you will be ineligible. So just make sure you keep your grades up and then if you keep your grades up, it'll allow you to wrestle, which would make you better in the end. What would you like to pursue for a career? Um, I'm very interested in astronomy. I think it'd be really nice to work in that aspect of the world. What is it about astronomy that fascinates you? I think if it'd be anything, it'd be just like the space, like the unknown kinda. A lot, we don't really know too much about space, so if I could be someone who discovers something new or like looks into the new aspects of it, it'd be nice. Great job, T. Oh yeah, thank you for having me. That was T. Ward, Fremont Junior Hustler. I'm Scott DeCampo, Catchmark Sportsnet. This is the Profile of the Week. Thanks for watching, everybody.